everybody. So today I want to talk about how to stay healthy on the road. It is so easy to get sick when you travel. I learned firsthand recently when I got totally wiped out on a trip to London. So today I'm going to give you a couple easy things that you can pack that will help you stay healthy the next time you travel. So let's talk about snacks. Snack time! So sometimes it's really hard to find healthy snacks when you're in the middle of nowhere. That's why I always bring my own trail mix. It's really easy to make. I make it at home. We have Brazil nuts, which are high in selenium. They kickstart your metabolism. Walnuts, great source of omega-3s. Cashews, I just love. Who doesn't love a cashew? Goji berries and mulberries that are low glycemic. They're also high in antioxidants. And I've got a little cacao to give me that kick of theobromine. Just throw it into a baggie, I eat it on the plane, and I definitely eat it before I'm giving a speech. Some of you might be giving a presentation for a business meeting. There's nothing worse than a hypoglycemic speaker. It's like death. So, I have this before a speech, I give good speech. The next thing, sometimes it can be hard to find a healthy breakfast, which is why I always bring this travel size oatmeal. You can get it at your health food store. This is organic. This is the Flax Plus variety by Nature's Path. Again, there's lots of different brands. All you need is a little hot water. You can boil it in your coffee pot, your teapot, in your hotel room. Boom, you've got breakfast. You know I love juicing, my friends. Love my juice. But I can't get juice all the time. And though there are juice bars popping up everywhere, they're not in every place that I go yet. So this is when I really rely on my green powders. We have amazing grass green powders today. Not that this is the only you know, game in town, but these are the, the packets that I have handy because they're at my local store. So I've got all different varieties. There's some wheatgrass here. There's some berry flavored. All you need is a glass of water. Pour it in, mix it. You've got a juice. Is it as good as your green juice? No, but you're kind of ad-libbing it when you're on the road. Next up are supplements. I take a lot of supplements. You probably don't take as many supplements as I do, but I'm working on my immune system and my adrenals, so I take a lot of targeted supplements, which is why it's really helpful to have a travel bag that's dedicated just to supplements. This is a company named Rome, and they have individual slots so that I can take my morning dose and my afternoon dose, and I don't miss it. So that's really, really helpful for me. Something that might be useful for you is a lot of folks get constipated when they travel. Nobody wants to talk about it. You know me, I love talking about poop. So if you get constipated when you travel, or if you get constipated period, you might be low in magnesium. I take magnesium citrate when I travel just to stay regular when I'm on the go. Make sure that I go when I'm on the go. Let's talk about essential oils. I love me some essential oils. I just touch them and I feel more spiritual. Less spiritual? more spiritual. So what do I bring on the road? I don't bring this entire rig here. This is my at-home rig. I always bring lavender and here's why. Lavender really calms you down. You can put a drop or two in your bath. If you want, you can put like a drop or two on your hand, rub your hand together, breathe it in. And this is very useful if you're on a plane with somebody who's hygiene challenged. You know what I mean. You're sitting next to them. There's a lot of halitosis. There's a lot of gas. This could save you, friends. It could literally save you. <laughs> Peppermint. First and foremost, it's great to wake you up. If you want, you can dilute it in a little oil. Maybe you bring coconut oil with you, spread them on your hands. Take a nice deep breath in, it'll really wake you up. Also, if you have motion sickness or you're nauseous from the flight, you can put one drop in your water. Now, you really want to make sure that you're using food grade essential oils. This is kind of my secret weapon. This is a product from Young Living Oils, and it's called Thieves. Basically, let me, let me pull out my bottle here so I can read. Where are my glasses? Okay, it's got clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And Thieves is great because it's antimicrobial. It's basically like a disinfectant. I use it at home when I'm cleaning. I have a household cleaning version of it. So it always reminds me of home. But let's say you're in a hotel and maybe you, you, know, you don't want to sit on the toilet. Psst, 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 psst. You know, if you're not hovering and you're sitting, that'll help you out. Besides your immune system, what other system is impacted by travel? Ready for the answer? Hold for it. Here it comes. Your circulation. So a great thing to bring is a thin yoga mat. And I say thin because you already have a suitcase full of stuff, 
right? So I love this mat. It's really thin, it's easy to pack, it's a brand called Manduka, and it's also chemical free. And after a long flight, I'll go and do 10 minutes of stretching, relaxing, and guess what, guys? The best way to change your mind and to change your perspective is to stand on your head. Try it. Let's talk about sleep. Your pineal gland, which is this little gland, it's kind of like shaped like a pine cone in the middle of your brain. Your pineal gland regulates melatonin. It actually creates the hormone melatonin, which regulates your sleep. Now, your pineal gland really needs dark because light stimulates it. So what we wanna do is use a little mask or you can even take a scarf or you could take a towel or a dark t-shirt, you could put it over your head. Another thing that's useful, we get a very good night's sleep when we have this white noise sound machine. Kind of sounds like this, can you hear it? Yeah. I don't wanna bring that on the road with me, it's too much to carry. I have an iPhone and it's really easy to find these white noise uh, apps that you can download. So you might wanna check that out. People also like to use earplugs. Block out that noise, you know, if your neighbor is a rockin', you don't have to go knocking because you didn't hear it. For me, these are like having little sex toys in my ears or little monkeys, so it doesn't work for me, but some people love earplugs, so I wanted to let you know about that. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, and this has nothing to do with your health, but if you need to look spiffy when you're traveling, you might want to try a light, easy to pack steamer. It's a travel steamer and it's super easy to get. You can get it online and it'll keep you wrinkle free and spiffomatic. We're rolling along the so I hope these tips help you. These are just a few things to get you thinking. And I'm sure you've got some tips that you'd love to share. We would love to hear about them. You can leave a comment below or head on over to chriscar.com. And while you're there, make sure you sign up for my newsletter because that's where all the juicy juice is every single week. And you can only get it if you're on my list. Until next time, live like you mean it and have a great week.